I just remembered what the last video was supposed to be about. <laughs> well, like I tell people, when you have this enormous library in your brain, so much information, and in different languages, it takes time to find the material, right? Okay. This video is about something people used to say in the 50s and 60s and uh, at all different occasions they would say this you were going on a trip um, you know things like like that um, so they would say make sure you have a good pair of underwear on no holes in it no uh, loose strings um, not faded, a really, a really good pair of underwear because you never know. You might get in an accident. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if the people that work in the hospital saw that underwear? Always have good underwear on if you're going somewhere. Okay. So I'm thinking, wouldn't it be a better idea if you take some fabric marker and you write a message on that underwear in case you end up in the hospital. You know, years ago, people learned that if they were going into surgery, let's say, to operate on their left leg, they would take a big permanent marker and they would write on the other leg, the right leg, wrong leg because there's so many stupid accidents where they operate on the wrong part, you know? I mean, they've even removed limbs on the healthy limb. Can you, can you imagine this? I mean, how can you even live with what happened after that? It's, it's, just, it's just too much. So what would I put, what would I put on with my fabric marker? Uh, on a pair of underwear if I thought, you know, well, you know, in case I end up in the hospital, what would I put? The first thought that comes to mind is I would put, think of me as if I was your relative. <clears throat> think of me as if I were your beloved mother, your aunt, your cousin, your child, because, uh, they don't always do that. I worked in a hospital near here. I lasted there one month because I became afraid that I was going to lose my license if I, if I stay there. They would not let me check the client's blood glucose. They wanted the nursing assistant to do it. And then she gives me a piece of paper to show me what's her blood sugar. And based on that number, I would draw up the amount of units of insulin. So how can I possibly take a chance like that to give them too little insulin or too much insulin because she might have made a mistake or, or not done it properly or deliberately didn't do it right because, you know, she didn't like me or whatever. I mean, that's just insane. And another thing, if this same nursing assistant has a patient tied, arms and legs tied to the bed so they can't move, and, and doesn't even untie it and turn the patient and, and leaves them like that for the whole shift, and these were 12-hour shifts, don't think I didn't complain. So I went to my preceptor. You know, this is the lady that works with new hires, you know, you know, shows, shows you the, the rounds and what to do, and you can go and ask for any advice. So I went to her and I said, you know, the nursing assistants, they're not uh, turning that patient in that room over there, and she's tied up to the bed, and, you know, she could get a bed sore or pneumonia or, or worse. You can get a stasis pneumonia if you're not moving, because, you know, when you're not moving, you're not you know, breathing heavy, you know, like when you move around, you're, you're breathing, your respirations get faster, deeper. So when I told you that she's not being moved, she's not being turned, she said, 
Yeah, I know. I know. So what am I supposed to do? Keep going on up the line? Go to her supervisor? Go to the medical director of the department? And then, then the board of directors? Then the governor? I mean, I mean, it was my patient. And they give you so much work. Um, normally, I would just go do it myself. But if it's not possible to do in the time allotted, and they're not going to put up with you leaving work an hour later, you know, they're going to think you're not efficient if you don't finish on time. But if I don't finish on time, it's because I'm doing somebody else's work that they neglected. Anyway, I, I left that place. So I know what goes on there. So back to the underwear. What would I do? What would I write on that underwear? Did you pray today? Do you care about me? I'm somebody's daughter. I'm somebody's mother. I'm a nurse. <laughs> They're really careful if, if you're a medical person because they know that you know they're doing things wrong. Anyway, that's something to think about. I'd be very interested in hearing what you would write on that underwear as a message to whoever. You know, the um, 911 people, the, uh, the nurse, the doctor, whoever. And imagine all this time I've just been drawing little flowers and hearts and butterflies on my underwear.